Welcome back, YouTube. We are here playing some more Ghost Watchers. Now, it's been a, t a while since we've actually uh, played this game, and there have been... I, I don't even know how many updates since then. I maybe, may maybe only like two updates, but the way that this developer uh, releases updates for the game is that they're usually in pretty big uh, chunks. So they'll release several different ghosts, new maps, new mechanics, and it's all in one thing. So, uh, you know, it's a little different than some of the other ones where they do like incremental updates, which is fine. They're, they're both valid development uh, styles, but this game has received, to my knowledge, at least two extremely large updates where like four different ghost types have been added, like three or four new maps. Uh, so I'm excited to go ahead and check it out. They have also added um, some additional drones, uh, bracers that will help you from getting dragged uh, by the ghost. Uh, so there's a lot to save up for, um, and hopefully that'll add to the replayability of the game. So I, I hope you guys enjoy watching. We're going to go ahead and just dive into some of the, the new maps, I think. Um, or perhaps we should just do some of the uh, original maps, but do some of the uh, the new mechanics. And, and that might be kind of fun, too, to kind of go ahead and just reveal those in a more of a familiar setting uh, for myself. So... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and jump into the um, the abandoned house. And it looks like there's three different types of new mechanics that you can add as like a modifier to the game. What it does is it'll, you know, provide you with some additional tasks to do. But it'll also let you get more money and more experience at the end. Uh, you know, kind of a risk reward type of thing. So uh, hopefully that's going to be cool. We'll go ahead and check them out and uh, and just dive right in. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and start with the pentagram so that we can do the, the pentagram ritual uh, and help exercise the ghost that way. So let's go ahead and start it up and just jump in. All right, here we are. We are at the abandoned house and it looks like all the familiar equipment is here. They did add what's called a magic book. Um, and I think that what that does is it acts as kind of like a a delayed uh, defense item. So, but we'll have to save that I think for the ritual uh, or the weakening ritual because I'm not sure whether or not we're going to need it. So, uh, so it looks like our side objectives here are to bring a cursed mirror to the car, open all the taps at the location, take a picture of the ghost, and open all doors. Okay. Certainly some annoying ones in there. The open all taps and open all doors generally isn't super fun, but uh, it'll we'll go ahead and do it. So first things first, let's go ahead and get our static evidence items in here. Right here. So they did add a notepad as well uh, since I last played, and what this does is it kind of has like ghostwriting or, or sketches on it, so. Um, of an interesting addition so let's go ahead and uh, grab some of our non-static evidence items and uh, wander around a little bit not too far because we don't know what type of ghost it is so we uh, we need to be a little bit careful um, oh also since the last time I played they actually added a, a new mechanic in the game where the ghost is no longer readily uh, visible you can't just tell at a glance what type of ghost it is it's kind of obscured with like a shroud um and then once you determine the type of ghost and the demeanor of the ghost you upload the data and it sends out like a uh, a pulse which identifies the, or reveals the ghost so uh yeah i, I, I don't know I, I have mixed feelings about it it's probably a good thing in the end so uh let's, let's check it out can you speak spirit can you speak Okay, so here's the pentagram ritual, which is pretty cool. Uh, looks like there's a cursed toy there. Can you speak? Can you talk? Sure can. Growling. All right. Let's go ahead and input that there. Uh, radio. Growl. All right. Narrowed it down just a little bit. Oh, being dragged. I hate the dragging mechanic. I cannot wait to get the bracer that keeps you from being dragged. Although I don't know whether or not it's healthy for the game. 
but uh, it is what it is. I think I saw a negative uh, temperature there, uh, but it was like negative 0.3 or something. So we'll just double check that. We don't want to get it wrong, get ourselves killed by grabbing the wrong defensive item. Start getting some lights on in here. Up that back door. Knife sharpening noises. I still don't know why they kept that in the game. I mean, it's not really a great sound effect. It doesn't tie to anything actually happening from what I can tell. Unless I'm just completely oblivious to it. We do have to open all the doors. So, okay, so we got negative 15. That's within the 20 to 20, negative 20 range. That's great. Yeah, so let's go ahead and put that down. Uh, let's see here. Thermometer, negative 20 to minus 10 range. Starting to pick up particle readings. Okay, the Ouija board is moving from side to side. Okay, we lost the ghost, wherever it was. We're no longer getting particle readings. But we do have a Ouija board evidence, which is great. Let's go ahead and uh, we have our cool snowman here, which is actually pretty awesome. Let's take a look at it. Very cool. <laughs> we gotta love the winter updates. We'll go ahead and put the particle counter here for now. Oh, wow. So it's drawing a skull as well. It's pretty great. Go ahead and put that there. Very cool. All right. We have two two new pieces of evidence to put in. We have the notebook, which is a skull, and the Ouija board, which moves from side to side. So we don't really have. I'm pretty sure that that I'm not ranked level ten yet. Oh, it's, it's ready to hunt. Oh, you see that? That's what it looks like when it's not revealed. Well, obviously we don't want to be in there. Okay. All right, what was the particle reading? Particle reading here is 500 to 1,000. Okay, I hear you. 500 to 1,000, which means that it's older. I think it's going to be a drowned. I'm not level 10 yet, I'm level 9, so I don't I shouldn't be able to get the dream devourer yet. So these are actually the new ones that they added. Well, I I guess the puppet is new to me. Dream devourer, the nun, the babadook, and the krampus, and there's two different ranks, three different ranks of ghosts now. So that's kind of cool. They all do different things and have a little bit trickier mechanics. Um so we need EMF and the voodoo doll. And footprints, which we haven't seen yet. If it's the drowned, I don't think it leaves footprints. But in fact, we can kind of check that here. Doesn't leave traces is the drowned, bloodstains is the dream devourer. So we're looking for either nothing or it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be doesn't leave traces. It's gonna be the drowned. Um so really realistically what we want is the voodoo doll now. So knowing that it's the drowned, the the Jesus statue should protect us. So, go ahead and get try to get EMF just to verify. Oh god. Immediately being attacked. Okay. EMF 3. Definitely EMF3. Okay. We'll go ahead and put this here as like a sensor so we know when it's walking down this hallway. Alright, uh, let's see. EMF sensor 3. Yeah, so it, that confirms that it's the drowned. So it's gonna be... Wait, does it? Wait, no. EMF5 would be the drowned. That's confusing. So we need to get EMF5 to confirm it. Oh, 
Oh, no, 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 no. Mm. Fires. Okay, so there's the MF5. We got it. I don't want to waste my... Oh, God. I don't want to waste my Jesus statue. Oh, come on. <laughs> Alright, we are in the basement. Please leave me alone. I need to get out of here ASAP. I'm just going to go out the back. So that we don't get attacked. I do want to save my charges on the Jesus statue. We only have three to keep us alive, so... Um, you know... We don't want to waste that. Uh, I do think that the drowned is a doesn't interact with the voodoo doll, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Oh, no, actually, that doesn't mean anything. So it's either aggressive or haunting. Okay. God. Okay. All right. Can you take this doll? Take this doll. Play with this doll. Take this doll. Play with this doll, please. Spirit, play with this doll. Okay, I'm just gonna remove these things. I don't know whether or not this actually helps to minimize what it tries to interact with, like in Phasmophobia, but we're gonna remove them anyway. We're going to go ahead and put this right there. Let's see if it actually interacts with the doll. Uh, what else do we need to do? I guess nothing right now. We could do some of the side objectives while we wait for it to try to touch the doll. We have to bring a cursed mirror to the car, open all taps. I think that's going to be one of the objectives for the drowned as well, so I kind of want to leave that alone for now. The open all taps uh, mission objective seems to be a little buggy. Uh, the last time I played against Drowned, uh, it, for whatever reason, there, it, we shut off all the taps, turned them on, turned them on, and then turned them all off, but it didn't count as turning them all off, um, even though there was absolutely no tap, uh, in there to, to turn off. So, it, it, we weren't able to complete the mission, we had to abandon it, and when you do that, you get no money, even after you've done side objectives, so super annoying. Um, anyway, so... Let's go ahead and grab the photo cam. And maybe we can just go open all doors while we wait for the uh, the voodoo doll to either get played with or be left alone forever. Okay. Got that door. That door is open. Oh, I moved the picture. Okay, it's gonna it's gonna attack. We're close enough to the door that we can just save our charge of our statue. Oh, is this the mirror? Oh, that's the dream catcher. Okay, so this is one of the five items that we need in order to um, do the exorcism ritual. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, throw this over here so that it's in the room that we need it for the ritual. Hopefully we'll be able to see it. It kind of blends in a little too much to, in my, for my taste. Um, wait, was this door open? Yeah, okay. So we just need to go upstairs, which is, I usually the ghost kind of wanders around upstairs a lot. So, but we got to open up these doors. Uh, it's going to attack for sure. We'll get a photo of the ghost. Oh, I hope it's the drowned. Alright. Got it. Jesus statue has saved us once again. What is this? Oh, it's a rose. So this is for the ritual as well. Will, uh... Oh, God. I want to stay away from that guy as much as possible. Or, or gal, or the, you know, that ghost. There you go. We have anything else in here? This is not, this is a cursed toy, but we don't need a cursed toy. We need a mirror. 
and three other first objects. This is actually a lot easier to see on the video camera than it is on the uh, handheld camera, but uh, the picture camera. All right, I want to save my. We're too close to the door to waste a charge, so chill here. Oh, it's right here. Literally right here. We need to go away a little bit. It still hasn't interacted with the voodoo doll, which is kind of annoying. Heading down the hallway there. Okay. Upstairs, we'll, start, we'll continue opening doors. That sounds like it's behind me. Okay, anything in here we can use? No? Anything? Uh, it's gonna attack. still vibrating for no reason we're gonna have to buy another jesus statue i'm, I'm fairly certain is that all that was the open all doors uh sound let's go down here it seems to be around us making us shake a lot um we'll leave the camera here uh let's see here okay so we got take a picture of the ghost and open all doors we have to open all taps which will be something we wait on, and then bring the cursed mirror to the car. I didn't see the cursed mirror, um, but that's okay. Uh, let's see here. I mean, I'm leaning towards doesn't interact. That would make it a an aggressive ghost, which kind of seems true. We could we could just reveal it, which you know what? Let's try it. Let's see if we're right. Nice, we got it. Alright. So, that should make it so that we can actually start weakening the ghost. So we need Holy Salt. Is this guy here. Yep. Okay, so we have these items. Let's go... and start turning all the taps on. Start down here, because these are the easier ones opinion. I don't think there's one in the basement. What are these sounds? I don't think there's one in the basement, but there are a couple bat. There's one in the bathroom downstairs. There's also... We'll look, we'll look for additional items, too. Ah, okay. We are looking for cursed objects. We might need to look in the basement for some. Okay, here's the tap. Okay, nothing there. Wait, was there something inside this room? I, I wasn't even paying attention. Nothing cursed in here. There's a tap here. There's obviously not going to be a sink in there. They also did hide uh, like stacks of cash around the house that you can find and grab to help with a better payout. But I haven't seen too many in the older maps, mostly on just on the newer ones. So okay, nothing first here that I can see. Okay, this is the other app that needs to be on. These three taps, I guess. Okay, so we have all the taps on, which is great. It's what we want. I need to go downstairs, I think. Let's see if there's anything. Uh, okay, here it comes. Let 
here it comes. Out of here. Out of here. I'm currently trapped in an animation. This happens when it gets close to you. There you go. Okay, cursed object. Here we go. We got a skull. We want that. Now, where are we going? I got confused for a second. We need to go over here. We'll drop this here. Oh, here's the cursed mirror. Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're coming to get me. Yeah, you were right behind me, too. All right. All right, we got that. So, the last one we did, we got five water taps. We're eventually going to have to turn them all off, so we got to go do that again. Uh, but we need to bring this flask here. Uh, where... Where is the flask with the Vesuvius ashes? Do I have to buy that? I thought it was supposed to... Whatever. Anyway. Uh, where is it? Vesuvius ashes. There it is. We'll go ahead and start sh Jesus, it's right there. It's upstairs. This is on. We'll shut that off. You know what? Not yet. Not like this. Chill here for a sec. Ghosts hunt very frequently in this game, especially, I mean, I don't know if the uh, ghost type is uh, relevant to how it behaves, you know, like whether or not aggressive is actually aggressive or if it's just there for flavor, but that one, and then we'll find the other bathroom up here, which is, I believe, here. Nope, I was wrong. Not here at all. This way. Okay, there's still one somewhere on. Get out of here. Okay, we got it. Yeah, we're good. Cool. Alright. So, we're heading down here. Making our way towards the finality, or finale of the ritual. Um... We need to do Withering Light, Instagram Ritual, and then we can catch it. But Withering Light is fairly easy. Just toss it here. We still, we do still need to find... Oh my god, what in the world? That's creepy. Alright, I think... It has some more things have to be down here, right? Is there no more cursed objects down here? Is you know, I feel like we're missing in quite a few. Like we have, we need one more item for the uh, pentagram ritual, and then we also still need. Actually, is that it? Is it just one item? We have one, two, three. No, we need two more. So I think there's a broken watch and then a ritual mask somewhere. Oh, I'm blind. Ritual mask right here. All right, so just, we just need a broken watch now, wherever that is. Now oh, this thing is like right next to me. Any bro broken watches out here? Didn't miss anything, did I? 
It's gotta be upstairs then. Uh, beer bottles vibrating pretty hard. And rotating items. All right. Didn't quite make it. We do have to get Withering Light, so. Is there a broken watch in here at all? Anything worth, uh, worth looting? There's something here. Oh, here it is. Broken watch. Okay. Got it. Oh, God. No. Mm. 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 Mmm, get near the withering light. Come on. Here it comes. Got it. Okay. So we have the broken watch. We have we have everything we need to start the ritual. I this ritual is a little janky in my opinion. Um just because uh, placing items can be very difficult. Uh but we need the we need the ritual dagger. And I think that's that's it. This is all we need. Uh let's We don't need the video cam anymore, at least for not for now. What else defends against this ghost? Regular assault? Holy fire. Is it regular assault? Yeah. Regular assault. Alright, we'll keep this just in case our Jesus runs out. Here we go. We're going to start the ritual and probably fail it. Okay. So, what it does is it highlights which item you have to place where. So, allegedly, place it here. There you go. What's next? So that's a circle of death. You don't want to get touched by that, and it does move around quite a bit. Is that a rose? Is that the rose? Okay, so we know that the- oh, nope, don't touch me, nope. We know that the rose goes there, right? We need to get it as close as possible, because you can't- It's the watch. Watch goes here. It's close enough. Nice, we got the watch. Watch is good. There's a circle of death forming. What's the next one? Mask. Okay, this one we can place. We're close enough. Where did the mask go? Where did the mask go? Did it get rid of it? Why did it attack me? Oh, I have it. Okay. The rose was just used. If it if it hits the dream catcher, it should be fine. Oh god. All right, we got it. So the ghost is now stuck inside this pentagram and cannot leave as far as I know. Well, let's actually get the light on and take a good look at this guy. So gross. So horrible. Look at this thing. Truly awful. What is there a light coming off of it? For? Look at that thing. Disgusting. Anyway. Alright, so now all we have to do is go get the uh, the ghost catching ball, the Pokeball, and uh, we got it.
got it. We did it. So we should get a bunch of extra money. Yeah, so a lot of extra coins, a lot of extra experience. Uh, and, and that's that's the uh, pentagram ritual, which is pretty cool. I think it's, it adds a, quite a bit of fun to the game. Um, so yeah, all right, cool. Let's go ahead and go back. Okay, all right. So I think next what I want to do, I want to go ahead and uh, do the abandoned house again. But this time I want to add the collection of ectoplasm because I've heard that when you add the pentagram and collection of ectoplasm at the same time, like you can actually get a lot of money for very little extra risk. Um, it's just an extra step that you can do after you trap the ghost in the pentagram it, and to, to go collect three uh, samples of ectoplasm and then feed that into the pokeball or the ghost catching ball. Um, and then it'll unlock the ball for you and then you can use it then. So we'll go ahead and do that and uh, jump right on in. All right, here we are back at the abandoned house. This time we should have, yeah, here we go, an ectoplasm collecting device. And it's fucking, it's huge, man. All right, there you go. Put it back up top. All right, <clears throat> I, it's, it's basically a standard investigation as you normally would. So it's got to bring all of our stuff in again. Really? <laughs> like right off the bat. <laughs> Wasted no time. Gonna be annoying. All right. Let's actually put these things down like we intended to before. Before we were so rudely interrupted. All right. I actually didn't get a chance to look at what our side objectives are. Okay, use the curse mirror, irritate the ghost, talk to the ghost on the radio, weaken the ghost with withering light. Okay, so we'll have to see how that all unfolds. I'm sure we'll get most, if not all of them. Uh, so let's bring these guys in. Radio. Can you talk? Right off the bat. All right. All right, we'll leave this in here for now. Because it might just passively pick up what we need. Um, all right, so we have radio growl. So, we'll bring the EMF in. And I guess we don't have to take any photos this time. So we'll bring the, uh... Oh, it's doing something. Okay, Ouija board is moving side to side. Or random. We have a human drawing. Can you take this doll? Spirit, take this doll. Oh, it t threw it across the room. Okay. All right. So it seems to be reacting to things, which is great. Uh, throws a doll. Ouija board is moves from side to side. No, moves randomly. And notebook is human drawing. So we have... I still think I'm level 9. So I don't think it can be the vampire or the nun, and certainly not the Krampus. So it's going to be... Poltergeist or the Gallows. So. Oh, it seems like we already know its temperament. It's ancient and haunting. Which is great. Uh, alright. EMF sensor, we got anything going on here? Oh, god. Okay. I'm gonna take this away. Can I take this? Oh, God. Okay, we're gonna take the doll away. We don't need it interacting with it anymore. I don't know if this if it continues to interact with the Ouija board, but we'll just toss it out here. Grab that. There we go. This started to pick up particles. Although it seems to have stopped. There you go.
It's just breaking lights all over the place. What is happening? Uh, 500 to 1,000. Okay, we already know it's ancient. I guess we didn't need all of those. We do need footprints, EMF sensor, or thermometer. Or all of the above. So as we know, this is where our ritual room is. Oh god, don't attack me. Three? <clears throat> Alright, let's see what three is. Three would be... it doesn't actually eliminate anything. It's not gonna be five. Not gonna be red three. It's gotta be three. Which makes sense, because that's, that's what we got. Alright. Alright. Let's see if we can get some uh, temperature readings here. Jeez. So many lights have been broken. Oh wow. Minus 15? Okay. So... We have that. Minus 20 to minus 10. Gallows. Alright, we could we can go ahead and upload the data. Nice. Okay. So we know what it is. So we can text and irritates a holy water. Holy salt. We have to do holy salt for the uh, weakening ritual. All right, let's do that. Holy salt. What else do we have to do? Use the cursed mirror, irritate the ghost. Weaken the ghost with the withering light. Is that one of them? Yeah, withering light. So we'll get some of those done. We do need to go get... Oh, I don't want to do it just yet. Come on. <laughs> okay, that's cool. So we have the mirror. Do you need to find cursed objects for the uh, pentagram ritual? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's see here. All right. Ghost is nearby. Definitely very agitated. Oh well, there's the gallows, uh-huh. Is there anything inside this room? There is, there's a bunch of objects in here. What is it? We have the dream catcher. It's great, we'll go ahead and toss that here. And the rose, we also need that. Go ahead and toss it here. Nothing in here. I'm just trying to keep my resources intact for now. Because I don't want to have to throw my holy salt and then leave the premises right away in order to grab something else to, to save myself. We do have a bit of exploring to do before we 
Yep, we got the skull. Excellent. I guess we need to go this way. Dead man's skull. And now let's go upstairs and try to find some items. Broken watch. Oh, no, you don't. Mm. All right, what do we need now? We need the ritual mask. Which should be, yeah, okay. We got it right here. That was actually pretty easy. Find all those this time. All right, so. We have all those items for when we need them. Let's get it to attack us and then we can go ahead and throw this some salt at it. Put some lights on. We know that the ghost loves lights. There it is. It's over there. Get out of here with that. So, we got the holy salt. We just need to get the golden bomb. Yep, use the crit. We didn't irritate the ghost. Was that not holy salt that does that? Uh, that's really annoying. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll bring holy water too. I don't know. Yeah, let's wander around the house a little bit. Yep. Where are you? You over here? There it is. Got him. Nice. Okay. So. Got the golden bomb. Now we have to light three candles at the location. We're going to bring in a cross for this one. Actually, holy water protects and irritates. So let's grab that. And we'll drag a lighter. It just gotta light three candles, which shouldn't be too hard. I think there are three just on the bottom floor here. Here. Yep. That's weird. I didn't light a third candle. What was it at? Did the ghost light a candle? <gasps> Alright. I don't know. What next? Light three candles, withering light. This should also protect and irritate, so I guess we don't need this. Assuming that it actually works. Might actually have to use the dagger to irritate it, which might just work when I do the ritual. I don't know. Yeah, we'll try that. Okay, turn on that light. Seems like a high traffic area. The ghost will probably hit it. I guess we don't need this video cam anymore. 
Maybe I should go get a defensive item just in case the game bugs. Boss. doing some stuff upstairs. It's not it's not attacking as much right now because I'm weakening it. Starting to get angry. I mean, I could definitely get it upstairs if I wanted to. There we go. Alright. We'll hang out here, it should come running at us, and then we'll flash it. it should disappear. Got it. Alright, so... Pentagram ritual is the next thing. Did that count? Nope, it didn't count as irritating it, which is annoying. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and do the ritual here. I'm going to go ahead and turn the light on. There we are. What do we need? Tell us what we need. Oh, God. Got it. What else do we need? What is that? The mask? Stay away from that purple ring. And not step in the big one, too. Watch. Got it. Uh, okay. What's next? What was that? Uh oh. I must have just missed it before. Ah! And then this should go here, right? All right, we got him. So it should be stuck in here now until we're ready to capture it, allegedly. So now what I need to do is I need to ectoplasm reacts to the holy fire so it should when when in the light of the holy fire should be revealed and then i can collect it now normally the, if the ghosts weren't trapped it would try to attack you um so we have to find them the, the ectoplasm is hidden throughout the house there's two of them that are just randomly hidden and then one of them i think is where you first weaken it you do the first weakening step It'll uh it it drops it there. So we'll we'll see. Okay, so nothing down here so far. Let's see upstairs. Any ectoplasm? Kinda surprised that I haven't found it yet. Did 
I mess it up? Oh, here we go. So you have to hold down the button and channel it. If you stop, it drops back down to zero, which is kind of weird, but whatever. All right, we got we got our ectoplasm, the first orb. So when you when you drain the ectoplasm or get to two hundred percent, you have to put it in here, and it injects it inside the, the capsule. So we need two more. deposit this and then we just have to go find the third one okay it's injected I don't know if it's where we first weakened it or it'll be in here no doesn't seem like it. Okay. Yes. Does the ectoplasm just show up after you do the second one? Or do they, you know, are they all present in the house at the same time? Or is it they only show up after you get uh, the, the one preceding it? the curse mirror. No. Do I have to throw something at it in the pantagram? So I can't capture the ghost until I have this third ectoplasm. I'm going to be really kind of pissed if... Check downstairs. I wonder if I have to throw something at the ghost that weakens it. Let's try. All right, what weakens it again? Regular salt, or even the whole the fire salt. Let's do that. We'll drop this. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna step inside the circle. I'm gonna throw this salt at it. Once it's once it attacks. I didn't do anything. Oh. That's not great. I might have broken <laughs> I might have broken the game. I'm just missing it. I mean, I went all over this house, I thought. Oh, there it is. Yes, okay. 
now we should be able to go ahead and, and unlock the ghost catcher. That's awesome. All right, we'll go ahead and drop you. We'll go catch ourselves our ghost, and we'll see exactly how much money we get paid out for it. This is a pretty big bump in cash and experience. Yeah, that's... That's insane. 1,475 for just doing the ritual. This is on normal, mind you. And over 1,000 experience. That's that's crazy. Okay, well, uh, I think that that's going to be it for this video. It is, you know, a little bit long for a standard video. So I want to go ahead and end it there. But that was fun getting to try out some of the different game modes. Next time we'll try out the sanity mode. Um, see how that goes and maybe just layer it on top of the other two that we're doing and see if, if that's possible. And we are level 10, so that should unlock some of the new ghost types. And then I, I do want to go ahead and try some of the new maps next time. I was just doing the abandoned house on this one just because I was familiar with it. Um, and I figured learning new mechanics uh, on a map you're familiar with is better than wandering around and trying to figure out everything at the same time. So uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for staying tuned. I will try to get more of these videos out uh, pretty regularly. So stay tuned for those and I will catch you in the next video. See you later, guys.